of Nitro. And this is basically all Inland Empire from here on out, besides uh, Kano and maybe a couple of you. Oh, I know. Why, why is Inland Empire so... Stacked. So good. <laughs> These guys play with each other, just kind of bounce off one another. Ooh, Nitro as a wolf. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, truth be told, I don't really like this for all. It kind of sucks. Why do you think it sucks? Well, there's the reflector and the fact of the matter is that I'm Hip does die once again at 80. It, it, Nair, there's just a lot of different things that Wolf can do. I feel like he's able to rush down Olimar, which Olimar doesn't really like all that much. And Shine, not just reflecting tosses, but it also reflects smashes. And we all know that uh, Olimar's up smash is kind of a huge deal. Yeah, no, I mean, those are all good points. Blaster is also a really good tool in this matchup because the, the actual hit of, of the swing of the blaster is enough to kill most Pikmin. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, the shot itself still does apply pressure. Down smash is a great tool for edge guarding. It's going to force I'm hip to really mix up his recovery time because Tipper down smash at mid percent will kill. I think that would kill Olimar right now. Honestly. Yeah, it probably would. Now, there is an interesting little element here that uh, not a lot of projectiles or anything will... Oh, this should be a demo. Um, a lot of things won't trade or be able to beat out the laser, but Pikmin do. Pikmin just go straight through the laser, and if you have a yellow, then you're definitely going through, for sure. So that is one advantage that Olimar has. But truth be told, Nitro doesn't really need to do that. He doesn't really need to, to play the campy game against a character that's going to outcamp you no problem. He's just going to rush you down, and that's kind of what you want to do against the Lamar. Unless you have, like, a white on you, just charge him. I mean... The lock? There, there's some substitute for that, but you always have making sure that your opponent is the one to approach is just to, in a, a position that's good to be in. So, Glass is going to be a great tool to get Pikmin off him and still apply pressure. It's true. That is uh, not a bad way of getting Pikmin off of him. Uh, there is also an option as well. Ooh, okay. No real overzealousness from I'm Hip. I, I can definitely respect that. Yeah, I'm Hip completely in control. Catching a white Pikmin, using it in there to, to get it off. Oh, okay. The, yeah. A lot of time you can just do the four Oh, the snipe! Precious is coming in. Olimar really showing just how adept he is at uh, you know, throwing all the Pikmin. He's got a he's had a few games to practice. Yeah. I mean, he's got you know Pikmin one, Pikmin two, Pikmin three, and there's one on the 3DS too. Is there one on the 3DS? Yeah, but sadly nothing for the Switch. Come on, up smash, taking that one though. Yeah, rip Pikmin four. Yeah, please. I've never gotten to play one, and I play this character. Give me a game I can play. You've never played Pikmin? No, and it makes me sad. I want to, yeah. especially too. Especially too. What was your childhood? Uh, uh N64 Sad. and Def Jam <laughs> Fight for New York. An underrated fighting game for sure. Okay, well, okay. still, still has a, a little bit to climb, but good parry from I'm Hip. <laughs> Another parry, sending him the other way. Yeah, Nitro has a lot of work to do. Oh wow, just barely missing that forward smash too. Yeah, this is not good. Not good for him. He got to 100 real fast. I mean, it was over the course of a couple of hits. But at the same time, he is up an entire stock, and that after is going to take the game. Oh yeah. You know, I will say I hear a lot of people talking a lot of smack about Olimar. I don't blame them. But I will can I will concede up throw is mighty dumb. Why is up throw dumb? Because it was already a decent kill throw in four. Yeah. It would kill you, uh, let's say, a character like. Character I mean, like. It, looks, it actually looks the same to me. It kills earlier. It was already a huge threat, and now it kills even earlier. I feel like it doesn't kill earlier. No, it does. Definitely does. I mean, he got thrown at 140. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would have killed in Smash 4, but I'm willing to bet that that could have killed. Uh, how much rage did he have? Do we do you remember? No, <laughs> but well, it, I don't think he would have died that much sooner. Uh, at one, if he got grabbed at 120, I'm pretty sure Wolf still would have lived. It's it's a toss-up. I, I, I think Rage is a huge player there. Rage is weaker in this game. It's definitely weaker in this game, but it does have a bit of a a bit of a difference. A bit of a difference. I think uh, like there is one reference. There's like this reference chart that I have in my uh, in the Corrin Discord. There's I'll try to find it, but if my memory serves me properly. Corrin up throw will kill when she's at 150. The difference from 150 to zero is huge. I mean, even though Rage is weaker, it's still a really big difference and a much appreciated one too. Uh, 
it just, to me, as someone who's played uh, Omar since 4, it feels like it's strong. It, fe <laughs> it, it feels like, even though Cor uh, Olimar has had kill throws, every throw is a kill throw besides down throw. <laughs> it's just it's just wild. Olimar, Olimar is just wild. He really is. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing Olimar again from I'm Hip. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like we're having a little bit of an audio issue, so... Just give us like a couple minutes to be able to fix that. I might have asked you this already. Who do you play? I think I saw you playing uh, Ganondorf in friendlies, or is no, that hobby? I do not play Ganondorf. I'm trying to remember. It is definitely not me. Okay. Oh, someone took the switch. Get him! Get him! Seize that man. <laughs> uh, what was it? No, no. I play Cloud and Roy. Cloud and Roy. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. Uh, are you uh, an aggressive player, like a mid-range player? <laughs> it depends if I'm playing Cloud or Roy. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, if, if I'm playing, playing Roy, Roy, I just want to run at people and push buttons and swing the sword. And it's a lot of fun, but people uh, are just more naturally defensive in tournament. Yeah. So, And to beat out the, the defensive play, I'll play Cloud. Because mm. then if they want to play defensive, I, I have the option to play defensive. I can just charge limit. That's a good or, idea. Or I can just space with back airs. I was no, I, I got a few options. I was considering playing a bit more Cloud because I remember when he came out in four, I was really, really about him. But then Corn came out, and I just I, I couldn't help myself. Um, but now, I mean, seeing as how you like to play swords, uh, have, you, have you tried all the swords then in this game, or just the two that you know best? I mean, I've tried I've tried the Cena. I thought I was actually going to play more because I in every Smash game that. Well, every Smash game after Melee, I've always just went directly to Mark. Mm. And then just, like, I, I played Mark in Brawl, I played Mark in Melee. Um, didn't play him in Smash 4. I played him a little bit. I, like, learned things from him, but, you know, you know, it was more for, like, fundamentals and stuff. Makes sense. Sword character is good for that. And Olimar is kind of a sword character now, because uh, in previous games, he didn't really have any uh, priority at all on his aerials, and now he does. Now everyone hits him, even well, though he's kind of the same. Before, his aerials were treated as projectiles, so you could just, like, clash with them or just, like, straight up win. Anything would do it. Anything would do it. But Those now, were good times. Yeah. No, they weren't. No, no, they were amazing times. <laughs> no, they weren't. I was tired of getting was, my purple back. That was back the back. almighty equalizer. Mm. I was tired of getting my purple back airs beaten out by Jigglypuff Jab or something super weak. Sounds balanced to me. Sakurai, take notes. Oh, no, please. Please. Oh, forward tilt, okay. And Nitro's doing everything that he can right now because as soon as I, oh, yeah, not quite yet. That back throw, or back air, doing a lot of work. Nice, nice right in front of him. Yeah, I thought we were going to get that uh, sweet jab lock, but we did not get that. No, just being at too high a percent, not able to, and of course, you know, Olimar being a, a slower character on the ground. Ooh, okay, the DP not quite killing yet. Taking a few notes from Ryu. Oh, boy. Throwing everything but the kitchen sink, the X connecting onto I'm hit. Okay, shielding that white. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, good close up. And yeah, just basically putting the white on. He doesn't really need it, and I think that's the clue. Yep. Ah. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, I thought the job was going to connect for sure, but it definitely didn't. Okay, using the yellow. We're only down to a blue now, getting all of our Pikmin. Oh, whipping the forward air and uh, Nitro just... Okay, yeah, getting the jabs in. Using the blue Pikmin to connect with the holy fire. Like yeah, holy water. that was interesting. Okay, oh my god, all three, all three. Yeah, any move that Nitro decides to throw out now is going to be extended by quite a bit. Back to the Pikmin on, holy throw. Like, Nitro isn't actually prioritizing getting the Pikmin off him, which is resulting in like him taking a bit of damage, but at the same time, he's like also making sure that Olimar is the priority. Yeah, I, I see exactly what I'm trying to do here. He's throwing the Pikmin on, so he's basically occupying Nitro's time so that he can just get back on stage. And Nitro is smart. He, he knows what to do here. He's like, I'm not going to let you trick me or beguile me, bucko. Uh, nice forward smash. Okay, okay. Kind of uh, even this up here. Yeah, with, you know, dropping off the angel platform, immediately tossing a bunch of projectiles. 
We're going to be able to roll past him and land a down smash. That, that was uh, kind of interesting to remind me, but I feel like he was trying to go for some type of setup off a of down smash, or like probably a grab. But he wasn't able to get it, but uh, that's okay. Now we have a white latched on, and that's definitely the one you want to kill. Uh, but the interesting thing about uh, Richter's Nair is that if you do use Nair to take off a Pikmin, your Nair is going to last forever. So, yeah, I mean, Nair in general is last forever unless you can, like, fast call it to auto cancel it. Oh, okay, nice roll. Very nice roll. I mean, he tried to punt, but, uh, I think tried to punch with an up smash. Uh, Nitro was able to shield in time. Punch with an up B. Uh, not fishing for the back air from Olimar here. Oh, air dodging away. He's gotta be careful when it's time to get up, but running out of gas. Uh, yeah, Pikmin have weight. Uh, Precious obviously being the fattest one, just holding him down. Uh, whites are the lightest, and I believe everything else in between is just regular. So I think even having one purple is just kind of a death knell if you're trying to recover. So but having two. you gotta ditch your Pikmin. Yeah, you absolutely have to ditch your Pikmin, even though it's hard letting go of the purples. You have to, man. You can just cycle and get more. Yeah, exactly. I, I actually find that to be kind of fun about playing Olimar. It's like, just kind of, I don't want this one. I do want that one. And you just kind of pick them out. It's it's fun. I, I don't know. A, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate Olimar. And I mean, with the run that uh, Myron and Chuton had over at Frostbite, is a, it, Olimar got a lot of publicity. Yeah, he did. And that was something he didn't get in previous games. I mean, probably for all a bit more, but uh, four, he was untouched because no one cared. And now they do, and that hurts for me, and I'm hit. All right, so we're in game three. Tie, one and one for each player. Okay, up B, out of shield, great option for Nitro. Ooh, uh, not minding the Holy Cross, getting hit in the, the buttocks. Getting, uh, getting scooped up on the way back, and then even I'm converting into a uh, down, down air in the dive kick. Oh, you know he wanted that tech. I feel like he was going to roll in. Oh. Okay, good uh, purple up there, or up there. Okay, yeah, still going to whip. We're going to see a back throw. Now I'm hip off stage again. Yeah, that was primarily because of one shoddy jump on I'm hip so hard. And instead of being able to just capitalize on the whip forward tilt, that one jump led to his stock being gone. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Can Nitro down air a pick Yes. Yes, he can. No, uh, can Nitro do it? Can Nitro down air a pick uh, I know, I know Richter can, but can Nitro do it? I don't know, man. We know Shuton can. <laughs> oh, okay. Still, oh, very nice. You know, he was almost in trouble there when he threw that, uh, that red on because uh, you definitely don't want to be throwing Pikmin really close to your opponent. I mean, depending on what your opponent's character is. Yeah, this up air is such good strength coming from I'm hip. Yeah, it was good grab, too. Bring a ton of damage on him right there. But the Holy Cross is cutting through all the Pikmin. No cross up. I was picking a cross up from I'm hip. Okay. Ooh, poking him, uh, hitting his neck. All right. Yeah, Tiny Olimar, and you really have to appreciate how Nitro is going to be able, or how he's been able to precisely hit I'm Hit, such a tiny character, and still being able to angle those attacks. Using the purple pigment. That is probably stage. Bad. Roll him off, get him out of here. Mm. Oh yeah, there's that white there. Only doing about four, he only got one tick on him. Yeah, Nitro is very quick to get rid of that white. You know if you do upwards almost like 30%. Oh yeah, it's a good amount. Yeah, white's uh, around 40, it's just no joke. Okay, within the forward smash, and that really doesn't mean that a uh, whole lot of more. Okay, axes, axe score. Dropping down, got, still got the Pikmin on him, but... I'm learning his lesson from last time, throwing a Pikmin before he was able to recover. Now we have two clues. So he basically has one to throw away, or just one to sacrifice. Hot, he caught Nitro's jump, and that's gonna be a sock. Yep, there we go. Woof. Yeah, and these guys play each other uh, quite often, too. So, uh, these guys know how the other likes to play, and it was very evident in uh, game one when when uh, I'm hip just kept throwing the Pikmin. He's like, oh, let me recover. <laughs> and Nitro's like, nah, son, I'll let these guys hit me for a minute. I don't care, as yeah. long as it's not a one. 
Yeah, just the, the damage and having your priorities straight, uh, especially in those ledge trap situations. Yeah, you can get the Pikmin off you, but then you might be giving up a ledge trap. Uh, which can result in big damage or stock. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, Pikmin are very deadly, uh, just based off of the fact that they do hurt you tremendously, and they're just really great distractions. Great, great distractions. I think that's why a lot of people hate this character, because they don't know which ones to prioritize. Just get rid of the whites. If any others latch onto you, just... I mean, why have you seen like, players that were at high percents just leave the white on them? Like, it doesn't exactly. matter. I've already had the damage. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Speaking of having the damage, Nitro definitely has a 62 already. Okay, and just leaving the blue on him. I get it, because he's basically just trying to... He already has... Uh, Nitro already has a uh, center stage, so... I'm wondering what he's trying to go for. Like, he's trying to knock Olimar off. Yeah. Nice! Did you see that back here? No! Very good stuff from Nitro. Yeah, now Olimar has of course to get off those platforms as they started to go away. Mm. Yeah, that was uh, looking pretty dire. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Tough landing for unhit. Yeah, the Holy Cross to get that little bit extra percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he just just destroyed that purple and then ended up taking out uh, unhit as well. Okay, jab and I thought we were gonna see a jab and a grab. Uh, he wants at the percentage for that to work. Down there, not gonna work. It is just continuing to stay, uh, keeping I hit in that danger zone. You know that Holy Cross is really good. It just doesn't care which Pikmin you throw at it. I, I'm curious about Purple's interaction with the Holy Cross, but it, yeah, you can... it just goes through the purple. It doesn't kill the purple, but it will just go through it. <laughs> That's a good tool then. That's a really good tool, actually. Wow. That yeah, was also a really good down tilt as well, just kind of dodging the, the Pikmin toss as well. Yo, yeah. and forward tilt also, wow! And yeah, I'm hit with like struggling a little bit to get weave around the the different rhythm that Nitro's putting out for his projectiles. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the axe also just going through the purple. It seems like a lot of things that Nitro has, or uh, Richter has, is just able to go through certain decks. Yeah, but that purple big man is an MVP. It actually stalled the axe in the air. Uh, enough time for I'm hip to weave around. But forward air will connect for Nitro. He's going up, taking the stock lead. Okay, good uh, white placement. Definitely the sniper of the crew. Okay. And he didn't whistle the, the Pikmin back either. He's like, oh, I lost my white. Whatever, he's at 109. He's about 15% away from dying to up throw. Or, I mean, it really just depends on his positioning on the stage. Yeah, now there's Holy Cross. Yeah, Holy Cross really putting in the work there. Okay. I like the use of down air. Just bouncing off, I'm hit shield, and allowing him to recover uh, at a different angle. Ooh, that, that that extra forward air from I'm hip was kind of unnecessary because it put him into this weird spot, but you know, he was able to get back. He was able to get back onto the stage. Good parry, too. That's a really good tool against Nitro, especially if the Pikmin are going to cut it. Okay, good recovery as well. Yeah, as you can see, Nitro was just allowing the blue Pikmin to stay on him. He does not care about how much percent he is, because he's already at kill percent. Yeah. It's kind of a... It's kind of, ooh, okay. Nice forward air. Yeah, it's just like, the Pikmin give a lot of damage on, but then... Oh! I'm talking about that precision! Oh, that, oh, that morning star. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, you really have to give him credit where it's due. It's a lot of a uh, lot of good space work. Very good stuff to Nitro. And we're uh, going on to game five. This uh, really uh, determines who gets to go into losers. I mean, I feel like these two always go to game five. <laughs> Do they, they? Always go to game five. Is that a is that a beleaguered? Because I mean, <laughs> it's Olimar and Richter. It's it's not. It's not that. It's just it's always I would I would love for one of these players to 3-0 them, 3-0 the other, only because I know there would there would be a little bit of uh, like friendly banter. Probably. Alright, game five. Yeah, that's all right. See, it's standard start from both players. Nitro is facing out. Not with his projectile, but with his aerial instead. Of course, I'm him uh, resorting to 
just checking Pigman, just trying to get that dot damage. It seemed like um, from the previous game onto this one, he just had this boost of confidence, Nitro. Oh, trying to go for the jab block, not really getting anything. And whipping a forward smash, you're going to get some damage for that for sure. I mean, with Nitro, it's going to be all about mixing up the rhythm of his ball. You can see him resorting to the projectile, the holy cross, the holy fire, uh, or the holy water, but uh, when he's starting to weave in his, his forward airs, his back airs, and they're angled like as precisely as he does, that's when things get a little bit more crazy, or a little bit tougher for him. Yeah, and I feel like that's all Belmont's game plan is. It's like you really don't want to get too centered around doing the same thing. I mean, that's a, that's a, a factor for every character ever, but especially with a Belmont. Forward till taking that one. I mean, it was after you took, after uh, I may have kind of toggled around, even bounced uh, above Nitro because the Holy Cross is coming back. Ooh, okay, yo, the little DP is going right through the stage and hitting him with another one. Better check the chin. Okay, not getting much off of the, the yellow toss, but he's getting a bunch off of those tosses. All right. Yeah. Nitro definitely wasn't in a good landing position there. He wasn't, but oh, that risky up B out of shield is kind of forcing the lose his stock. Yeah. Oh, that was a good forward air, too. Yeah, you can see uh, I'm was going to start uh, winding up to throw that white at him, but that one's dead-o now. Yeah. Good air dodge. Uh, directional air dodge going to get I'm hit back to the ledge and avoid the axe and the holy cross. And that, that, what I'm hit just did, trying to cross up with an air, I feel like I would have done that same thing in that scenario. He's really paying attention to what Nitro is doing. I mean, and then Nitro's even like increasing the space once I'm hip gets off the ledge. So if he does push a button, I'm hip just going to get punished. Woo! Nice back. He's only at 1.9% on his second stock. Yeah, this is uh, not what Olimar likes to be. Being behind, I mean, when Olimar's ahead, oh, good luck. But right now, okay, getting a good grab with the yellow there. Just throwing the white away. Early avoiding that cross too. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good feeling. Opting again to just continue to have the yellow Pikmin on. I'm hip. And that's another thing to, to think about. Whenever the Pikmin is latched onto you, that's one less Pikmin for, for Olimar to have used against you. That's true. Oh, almost got, almost got the tasty snipe. Not quite. Yeah, whenever that cross is right above you, uh, just it just forces you to stay there on the ledge. Nice uh, forward throw. 144, 145%, you know, I'm looking for that grab. He's got two, perp two blue Pikmin to do it with, too. Oh, yeah, he can afford to lose one. No, that's painful. Oh, not again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Omar can go very deep. Oh, cracking him. Not quite, though. Yeah, if he, uh, if I'm hip, getting it again. Oh, my God. I'm sure a lot of people are very satisfied. Yeah. Those, those critical hits. Especially when the, such a long-range weapon is satisfying to land. Oh yeah, definitely. I just, I mean, props, props to Nitro. I've been saying it for the whole set. I, it's very hard to hit small targets like that, and you know, being being it, pressured with Pikmin like that. It, it does help that you're able to angle his aerials. Yeah, big time. So, I mean, if it was just a straight.